Life Point Church. We are so glad that you're here with us on Christmas Eve to celebrate the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ. If you've never been here, we are so glad you're here. Welcome. Could we give a round of applause, a good cheer for new people? Yeah. So welcome. Um, you are always welcome to worship with us on Sundays at 1030, but a reminder to our church family that this Sunday we do not have service on the 26th. And also church family, just want to remind you, you got one more chance to give tonight. Um, it's so funny when people talk about money, they get weird, right? But here's the thing. The God of the universe that created you and I and loves you so much gave the first gift. He gave us his son and he established a pattern. He is a generous giver. And so when we are choose to be like him, we also are generous givers. And so church family, just want to remind you to give and uh, allows us to do what we do and minister and just put on awesome shows like this for Christmas Eve and those kind of things. So you can give in a couple of ways. Uh, you can go to our website or our uh, app and click if on our website, click on the uh, Red Heart Give button and give safely and securely online. Or if you're here tonight, uh, we have a giving station out in the lobby where you can go and give electronically or in person. Um, and I know that you had an envelope on your seat when you first came in that uh, you're also welcome to give an extra Christmas blessing if you would like and put it in the boxes out in the lobby. 
I just want to pray for you, pray for a blessing over you. Just thank you so much for being here tonight. Uh, we're so glad you are. Let's pray with me. Lord, you are so good. And uh, I thank you for each person that's here, for each person that's watching online. God, I pray just a Christmas blessing on them, Lord, um, especially financially as we talk about giving and having a generous heart. Lord, I know that you are so generous and you meet our needs um, every time when we call out to you. And uh, so I pray for each person that might have a need here tonight. I pray that you would bless them, bless them in every way that you do, God. And uh, I just thank you for them and I pray you would bless the service that our focus and that our attention will be brought to the true reason that we celebrate Christmas, and that is that you gave. You gave your son so that we might have life, and so we praise you and ask your blessing and your presence to be with us tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows when his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph. Before they came together, she was found to be with child by the Holy Spirit. And Joseph, her husband, being a righteous man and not wanting to disgrace her, planned to send her away secretly. But when he had considered this, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. For the child who has been conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So a visit from an angel to Joseph, a mission of salvation to the earth, a supernatural announcement of the soon coming Son of God, the greatest gift mankind will ever know, a gift of redemption and restoration, and here we go, a gift of worship to our Lord. Oh.
in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the descendants of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming in, he said to her, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was very perplexed at this statement and kept pondering what kind of greeting this was. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will have no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be? I, I am a virgin. The angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. And for that reason, the Holy Child shall be called the Son of God. Mary's response to her, her angelic visitor tells it all. She said, be it unto me according to your word. And from that day, this word would be proclaimed to the ends of the earth, on every mountain, over every hill. This took place to fulfill what was spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and shall bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which translated means God with us. The prophet Isaiah also spoke of the same Jesus when he said, For a child will be born to us, a son will be given, and the government will rest on his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God. Eternal Father, Prince of Peace, there will be no end to the increase of his government 
or of peace on the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish it and to uphold it with justice and righteousness from then on and forevermore. Christ, our King, the Babe, the Son of Mary.
Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. After hearing the king, they went their way, and the star, which they had seen in the east, went on before them until it came and stood over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. After coming into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell to the ground and worshipped him. Then opening their treasures, they presented to him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. These scholars learned of the day and studied and sought the mystery of the universe, the maker behind the heavens. Many today are still searching for this beacon of hope to guide them to this perfect light. Gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born upon this day to save us all from Satan's power while we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy.
Now in the same region, there were some shepherds staying out in the fields and keeping watch over the flock by night. And an angel of the Lord suddenly stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terribly frightened. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will be for all the people. For today, in the city of David, there has been born for you a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there appeared with the angel of multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men. Now, though shepherding was the most ancient profession of God's people, it was not a desirable one. It was a dirty job. Yet, God sent angels to come to tell them of the newborn king. We, like the shepherds, can come before him, dirt and all, mess and all, and give honor to the Prince of Peace, give honor to the Son of Righteousness, who brings light and life to everyone, a baby who was born to give us second birth. Through him, God and sinners are reconciled. We sing glory to the newborn King.
those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that a census be taken of all the inhabited in earth. This was the first census taken by Quirinus, who was governor of Syria. And everyone was on his way to register for the census, each in his own city. Joseph went up from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which, he called, which was called Bethlehem, because he was, with, uh, was of the house of the family of David. In order to register along with, his, with Mary, he was engaged, who he was engaged to, and was with child. While they were there, the days were completed to her, for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her first son, and she wrapped him in clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Born to an ordinary girl in a small town, received by no one, rejected by society, he had come at last, a baby nestled in hay, a king in a feeding trough. And together, a weary world rejoiced at the sight of the unlikely king.
It was unimaginable that God himself would take on human flesh and walk the earth as one of us. He loved us so much that he gave his only son. That love came down from the heavens and that love would cover the world like a fresh blanket of snow. At this time, if you were, this is the best part of the service. We get to play with fire. Anybody like that? Don't you like that idea? I do. So would you just stand up? with us. Go ahead and stand up and grab your candle. If you don't have a candle, just kind of wave your hand up. The ushers, they've got some candles that they'll bring to you. <laughs> we got it. Glory to God. This is called Pass It On. Pass That Light On. Thank you for your love and your mercy, which endures forever. As the light of Jesus shines and goes forth into this new year that approaches, we thank you for a great and happy new year. If you would at this time, very carefully, you can blow out your candle, or you can blow your neighbor's candle out, whichever you choose. But then blow out that candle, and then you can be seated. His gift of redemption and restoration with the Father was not only for Israel, but for all mankind. Jesus came to free every captive, heal every broken heart, liberate everybody, and restore every soul. And we, the people of God, rejoice. 
We sing hallelujah for all he has done. We sing hallelujah to the light of the world. Light of the world, treasure of heaven, bringing light to stars in the wintry sky. Joy of the Father, reach through the darkness, shine across the earth, send the shadows to Thank you so much, guys. All of you, everybody. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we've had a couple crazy years, and here we go into a new one. And we are believing God for good things. How about you? Great grace. How many are glad the past is now the past, and we're going forward? We're going to have a prayer team down here, and I, and I know it's Christmas Eve, and we're, we're going to go and and hang out and perhaps you'll go with your family and open gifts. We've got some gifts and all of that. But if you want to just know more about Jesus or, or just you feel lonely at this season, 
You want somebody to pray with you before you go? They're going to be down here. They know how to pray, and they'll pray with you and uh, bless you for that. Thank you all for coming. Before you go, just look around, wish somebody a Merry Christmas, and go have a Merry Christmas. Amen. God bless you. Hey.